Whether you're new to DaVinci Resolve or you're a seasoned professional, one thing's for sure, you're gonna have to mask footage at one time or another. So because of that, it's pretty important that you know how this stuff works. So by the end of this video, you'll know how to create, track, and combine masks on the color page in only five minutes. Hey, my name is Billy Ripka, and I'm here to bring you the top tips, tricks, and how-tos for creating better overall videos. So if you wanna take your videos to the next level, then click that subscribe button and the bell notification so you stay up to date. Also, stick around to the end, and I'll tell you how to get the DaVinci Resolve Starter Kit all for yourself. So let's put five minutes on the clock, and let's go. So inside of the color page, you're gonna go down to the Windows tab right here, and you'll see that there's a bunch of masking options that you can choose from. So I'm gonna actually just select the pen tool, mainly because we can draw out whatever shape we want. So I'm gonna zoom in using the scroll wheel, and also I can move around my footage like this by holding my middle mouse button and just drag it around. Now to actually add some points to the mask, I'm gonna click with my left mouse button and start to trace out this building. And also, if you make a mistake, all you have to do to remove that point is to click on the point with your middle mouse button. And if you don't have a middle mouse button, get a middle mouse button. Come on, that's really not that. The touchpad's really not gonna work too well. Anyway, now that I have this whole rooftop traced out, I want my mask to actually remove everything else but the rooftop. So in this node section, I'm gonna right click and select add alpha output. Then you'll see this blue output appear. All you have to do is connect the blue alpha outputs together, just like this. And now you can see we have just our rooftop here. So you can go ahead and soften it if you want, or you could just soften the inside of the mask or the outside of the mask. And the cool thing is you can adjust the softness of the mask on each point, just like this. And if you're actually trying to remove an object, just like this building, you can go down and hit this invert button right here on the pen tool. So now it's gonna remove the building and you have everything else around it visible. However, the issue with all of this is as soon as I hit play, the mask just drifts off and doesn't actually stick to the building right there. Well, that my friends is where the tracking tab comes in. So we have a couple of directional tracking options right here. We have pan, tilt, zoom, rotate, and 3D. If you wanna turn any of these off and just don't want to mess with that axis, just deselect it and it's not gonna track it. However, I don't actually care about that right now. So to track forward, I'm gonna hit this track forward button right here. And if you start halfway in the middle of your clip, like I do half of the time, you could also hit track backwards to get the other parts that you missed. Now, once that's done, you'll see that our mask sticks to the building. And if there are a few areas that we need to touch up because our mask drifts off or something like that, then you're gonna have to switch the setting right here from clip to frame. Now, clip means that any adjustment you make to the mask is gonna affect the whole clip globally. But frame, on the other hand, means that it's gonna just affect that frame specifically. So I can add any adjustments I want to the mask and it's not gonna really mess anything up. Now, you can also add in some extra points to make it more precise by just clicking on your mask and better shaping it. Also, speaking of shapes, if you want to shape your mask, you can use these curve handles right here. Now the cool thing is if you want to only adjust one side of the curve and not the other, you can hold the control button down and adjust one of the sides. So you're feeling adventurous. You wanna add more masks to this clip. Well, there's a few ways to go about that, but I got you, boo. So I'll go back to the window tab and then at the top right here, you'll see there's a bunch of mask options with a plus. Now, whatever mask I want to add in now, I'm just gonna click on it. So I'll hit the curve and then you can see that our original mask gets dim to show that it's not selected. So I'll mask out the top of this building. And once we've finished our mask, I can invert this one also by just clicking the button to the right of the invert mask button. This will allow us to combine both masks together and have them inverted at the same time. Now, be aware that they won't share the same tracking data, even though they're on the same note. So while our first mask is tracked, 
Our second mask is gonna be moving and flailing around like a madman. So, you're gonna need to select the new mask and then go to the tracking tab, just like we did earlier, and track it to wherever you want. And now, if you're doing color grading and you want each mask to affect the footage differently, then this method won't work. Now, luckily for you, I have a video that tells you how to combine multiple masks together across multiple different nodes. So click the video here to check that out. And also, if you want more help speeding up your DaVinci Resolve learning process, then check out our new DaVinci Resolve starter kit, where we have all of that goodness and a ton of assets. Anyway, till the next one, peace.